Okay, so it's through this we know pineapple day BB in order to live in Latin America. Or if I use day, um, um, uh, then I'm going to use the infinitive after that. So para and day plus infinitive if we use those. So um, if you use the prepositions antes, so with antes de que, you can say antes de, antes de vivir. In Latino America, necesito aprender español. If I say antes de que, have to use the subjunctive because I put the que in there. So if you are struggling with this, when you're conversing and you're practicing this, learn way, if you learn ways that you can uh, avoid that, that you can save yourself from frustration, but keep practicing these. It does take a lot of practice, it takes a lot of work, and it takes, you have to get a feel for it eventually. But for right now, the best way to do it is to memorize those verbs and look on that page in the book because guess what? There's a list of verbs right there that show you that if K comes after it, the subjunctive has to be used. So make it easy on yourself. Kind of boil it down to that. Memorize those verbs or, or learn those verbs. Learn which ones do that. And when you recognize it, then you know, oh, that has to be a subjunctive. That's on my subjunctive list. So subjunctive is coming. You should have subjunctive alarms going off in your head when you see quiero que, es interesante que, necesito que, es imposible que, es posible que. Subjunctive alarms should be going off in your head. Subjunctive should be coming when you hear that, right? You should see that and so you recognize those and the subjunctive comes and then you can look at the shorter list of the ones that indicate the indicative, alarms don't go off, and you can write it in the present tense. That's how we, the subjunctive works. That's how we're going to use it. Keep studying. Keep practicing. Um, if you have questions, email me. Thanks. Have a good night.